morning, folks. I'm getting rigged up right here this morning. It's uh, currently 33 degrees. The surface temperature is at 51. Okay, and I'm fishing here on the Tennessee River once again. I love it here. But uh, today, I want to give a shout out to Mark Williams from Rock Mart, Georgia. Now, Mark sent me some unique looking jigs and I'll show them to you. Uh, I've never used them before. They're called Easy Limits Custom Jigs. Okay. And uh, he sent me a bunch of jigs and they just look good. And I have one rigged up right here. I'll show you what I've got right here this morning. As far as the rod goes, it's a six foot six, uh, excuse me, eagle claw, 100% fiberglass rod. And I have a, a Aura 330 on here, or S30, made by Garcia, loaded with four pound test, Mr. Crappie, a small float, okay, and uh, I've tabbed one of those jigs that Mark sent me with a loop knot right there. And I'm using a 132nd ounce jig head. And I've got a lot of different colors to work with, but I believe that this white and pink, I do the trick this morning. The water clarity it is super clear, but it's not dingy either. Uh, it looks like a shad. So let's get in here and find out how deep the fish are and catch a few of these crappie. Woo wee. I'm just gonna start right here. A good starting place at any time is where the beginning is. That don't make no sense. I'm sorry folks. My introductions I realize is a little bit too quick. It's kind of straight to the point, but the reason is I'm so anxious to catch a fish and figure out how deep they are. But you can see right here, I'm fishing. I'm going to start off about two and a half feet deep this morning. I'm just barely moving the float. Oh, six, eight inches like that, letting that jig settle back up under the float. I'm watching for that float to twitch and then go bloom. That bloom's what I like. Figuring out where they are is the main thing. And how deep. Once you solve that mystery, why well, shoot, we'll catch a few of these fish. It just don't take much action at all to catch a crappie. Not at all. Matter of fact, sometimes the less action you impart in a jig, the better off you'll be, in my opinion. All right, let's go hunt them. There we go. Oh, no. This ain't no crappie, folks. It's catfish. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's a little channel cat. What's going on right now is it's too flat out here. We need a little breeze for these crappie to bite. Look how he got tangled up in there. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I like catching catfish, but I, I don't want them crappie fishing. Look how he slammed my line up. Oh, let's get a net. First fish of the day. Not a crappie, but a channel cat. Oh my goodness, let's get him back here so he don't slam everything up. I like catching them. It's a, it's a, I love catching catfish, but it's not what I'm focusing on right now. I'm wanting to catch a crappie. But I need a breeze. Real important, especially in the morning. Let's get our pliers. Get him off. He's a handsome little channel cat. Boy, he smacked that jig. Ah. All right. 
Let's let him go. Go on back, you the wrong fish. I'm gonna get that slime off. Ain't no doubt about that. I want y'all to look. What a mess. My goodness. Shoot. I know. There we go. That's a pretty good fish, Mark. Pretty good crappie right here. Well, he ain't as big as I thought he was. He just mean. I'm gonna go ahead and net this little fish right here. I, I got a size six hook in this jig. And I swapped jigs too. Well, he ain't that bad. He fooled me. That's a pretty good fish right there. Yeah, I switched to a uh, one of Mark's jigs. It's a beaver tail. It's got red glitter and silver. I thought that might help this morning. Let that sun reflect off that jig. Man, there's no... There ain't a bit of breeze out here. And if y'all can see that water, it looks it's real flashy. I had to make them bite sometimes when there's not a breeze on the water. I found, or in my opinion, but let's make another cast right here. I'm probably going to swap around on these jigs today. Now that was an aggressive bite. They're not biting out here. I'm really covering a lot of water. And I'm moving it a little bit quicker than I normally do. Trying to cover that water a little bit. Pulling it and twitching it at the same time, then letting the jig settle back. There's a fish. Bite is slow today, folks. Got a pretty good crappie right here. But the bite has been real, real slow. But we just kept on till we got him. Woo, that one's cutting up. Let's get a net on this fish. That's a pretty, oops. Let's drop her net in the, in the water, folks. <laughs> it's a fray bill, it floats. Oh man, sorry about that. That, that crop excited me so much. The bites are slow till, that's about an old 10 and a half, 11 inch black crappie. Finally got him to bat. Let's put him back right here. There he goes. You just have to keep after it when the bite's slow. That's something that old Elmo can't do today. Because he's at home with his wife. She's mad at him. Let's catch another one. There we go. That float twitched. Woo-wee! This one's cutting the rug, folks. This one right here is cutting the rug. I'm just going to let him fight. That wind, y'all can see, it's really whooping out here. Yeah, we'll net this one. This is a pretty good fish right here. Pretty good one. Now that time, oh, that net's giving me a fit today. That time, that the float just twitched. I'll be able to talk. I'm excited. This is a broad crop. Y'all check that one out. He is broad. Look at there, what a fish. These fish is healthy this year. Real girthy. That is a broad fish. What are you doing hitting that jig like that? 
What's wrong with you? Go on back. All right. We're getting on now on what we're doing. Let me make a cast out here. And I'll show you how finicky these fish are today. All I'm doing is just letting that cork stay there. And every once in a while, I'm just barely moving it, letting it stay put. Just like that. The waves is more or less. Again, that's how tough these crappies have been to catch. The waves is putting action on the jig. Just like that. Hey, what about we catch another? There we go. My goodness, that one right there, folks, like to snuck up on me. That's two today. Oh, excuse me. I had to get my net. I think he just barely hooked. Ah, that's two that's nearly snuck up on me today. <laughs> oh, I've been having to hand feed them. That's a pretty fish. He didn't fight that hard, though. Not that one. There's a front blowing in, and uh, let's let this go. And you can tell it too. Come on back, crappie. Front blowing in, and these fish is locked jawing up because of it. It's one of them negative fronts, I call it. But again, all I'm doing is just casting out there. I don't even know if y'all can see that float. I'll check the video out and see if y'all can or not, but it's so small, sometimes I barely see it. But I'm just holding my rod, letting the, uh, letting the, uh, uh, <laughs> the waves do the work for me. That jig is just shaking right in front of them, back and forth. And that's all it's doing very little i'm just letting the waves and the wind do the work the wind's carrying this float down real slow and the waves is giving it all the action that i need so it's no action at all when that float goes down it just sinks it just don't. all right folks we caught a few um today i tell you what was a beautiful day it was real windy. Now it's flat, calm. It is beautiful out here. But every day is a blessing. And I want to tell y'all, it's a blessing for me to tell y'all. Oh, this is good.